tonight I am flying to China. To put it in perspective, I live in New York City, I'm leaving on Thursday night, and I don't get to China until Saturday afternoon at noon. So basically you lose an entire day when you fly to China, and on top of that, our first flight alone is 14 hours, like 14 hours in the air on a plane, um, which is super fun. And then we have a five hour layover in Tokyo, and then we have another four hour flight to Shanghai. So it's gonna be awesome, but it's all worth it because we get to shove our faces with dumplings. And if you didn't know, I actually used to live in China. I lived there for a whole year and it's kind of where I fell in love with food. Like I've always liked food, don't get me wrong, but like trying every single type of food from every different culture and just learning about the whole process of making the food. And yeah, I just became obsessed with it. And so I have been itching, like I have been on the edge of my seat, ready to get back to China and it's finally happening and I get to take you guys with me. Um, but first I have to pack, so let's go. <laughs> you guys wanna see my airport outfit? I got Chris a nice ass neck pillow. Cause he claims that he can't sleep on planes. Take bets. I'll try. Take bets on if he can sleep with this. to be dumplings, of course. They're known for Shenjiang Bao. Shenjiang Bao? Hope I pronounced that right. Which are these like pan fried soup dumplings. So um, this place is like super famous for them and it looks really crowded, which is a good sign. So let's go get some dumplings. I have no idea what this is in this dumpling because uh, the menu is not in English at all. Ooh, it's pork. Now I'm gonna use my spoon like you're supposed to. Oh, look at that pork. Oh my God. So juicy, so savory, a little sweet. The bottom is perfectly crispy. It's one of the best dumplings I've had in a long time. And this place is like super famous, so makes sense. Chile oil, the nectar of the gods. It's gonna be the best bite you've ever had. Mm. I could cry. Just everything that I've been wanting in chili oil from America for the past year and a half, and I finally had it. It's just like perfectly spicy, but then it's got that like sesame oil, like warmth, and it just so flavorful. Damn, these are good. We made it to Din Tai Fung. We actually ate at the one in Las Vegas. Um, so it's kind of weird that we're at one in Shanghai, but I heard these are the best soup dumplings in Shanghai. So I'm not gonna argue with it. I'm here to eat soup dumplings. Menu. Look at those beautiful little. This is a soup dumpling. So you gotta bite the corner. Give it, just give it a little nibble. <laughs> More like that. And then you just go. Spicy. Wow. <laughs> it's very thin, very soft, very soupy. And this one, you just eat it. That's how spicy as I thought it was going to be. Lots of meat. Yeah, the wrapping is just so tender. Muy bueno. They're so cute. Little taro bows. <laughs> These ones remind me of the, the Disney short bow. Don't they look like the little bow boy? So they're filled with taro, which is like a, a root, and it's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Super soft, and it kind of has like a vanilla y. It's a very mild flavor, but it's really good. Like thick, sweet, yum. 
We made it to Nanjing East Road, which is the busiest street in Shanghai. It's flooded with people and there's like shops and like the biggest mall in Shanghai is apparently here. So we're gonna go check that out. We're gonna get some food and uh, we're gonna see what we can see. Let's go. Okay, we made it to the New World Emporium, which is apparently the biggest mall in Shanghai, according to some girl's video that I watched. It is not a peer-reviewed article, but it's huge. And apparently they have like a whole food court underneath and I don't know, we're gonna find out. Let's go. <laughs> I believe it's barbecue pork. This should be a cha siu bao, which is barbecue pork. And I haven't had one, a real Chinese bao in so long. I'm so excited. Mm. It's so fluffy, it's sweet, it's savory. Pork is really tender. The sauce is like thick. It's literally so fluffy, it's like a cloud. Mm. Okay, so I got soup skewers. I used to get these all the time. I wanna say this is squid or choke. I think it's squid. I believe that is a fish cake. It is spicy. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect texture. It's like a little bit chewy. Mm, it's so spicy, not fishy at all. Really, really good. Like kind of spongy. It just like soaks up all the broth. That's so good. I used to eat these noodles all the time. They're cognac noodles, I believe. And they're like five calories, which is crazy. But if you eat too many of them, you get really constipated because they're pure fiber. So be careful. And now, the beef balls. Mmm. Mmm. Those are so flavorful. Damn. I was not expecting that to have so much flavor. Okay, and now you gotta drink the broth. This is the best part. Woo! Spicy. So comforting. So good on a cold day. Soup skewers. I think it's like a puff pastry with mm, like a cream that they made into like spaghetti. Mm, it tastes like Oreo. Mm, and this crust is like Oreo crust. And then the cream is like creamy. Oh, wait, wait. It's like Thai tea cream inside. This one's like Thai tea flavored, like kind of, I don't know, Thai tea flavored. Um, and then this one is like, like a hazelnut. It's pretty fire, very interesting combination. Okay, I believe this is called Guo Kwai and it's got beef in it, but then it's like flattened down and seared in this like tandoori style oven. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, so it gets so crispy and like super thin, as you can tell. And then they give you a little brush, a chili oil brush. You can brush your chili oil on like a painter. Wow. So thin, the chili oil is fantastic, of course. Mm, so crispy. Such a good street food snack. Because you can just eat it while you walk around. It's kind of got the flavor of beef, but not the texture of it because they flatten it so thin like a piece of paper. So like you can barely tell that there's beef in there, but it still has the beef flavor. So very flavorful. I think this is melon flavor or matcha, but I asked for melon and I think she understood me. So we're gonna find out. I don't love matcha. I know, I don't know, everybody loves matcha. <laughs> it tastes like grass, okay? <laughs> anyway. 
It's matcha. It's matcha. Oh well. It tastes like grass. <laughs> It's really creamy, it's super smooth, and super grassy. <laughs> Let's try the cone, the cone's gonna be good. Mm. It tastes like a waffle cone, but I thought it was gonna taste like chocolate. It tastes like a normal waffle cone. <laughs> All right, we made our way through the food court in the biggest mall in Shanghai. I am so full. So we're gonna walk through Nanjing Road, behind me and then back to our hotel because we're going to a show tonight we're gonna go see the acrobatic circus show which I heard is like insane um, I don't know how much we'll be able to film but fingers crossed it's gonna be awesome and uh, yeah let's go we made it to the Shanghai Circus World, which kind of looks like Epcot. That's what we're gonna have in the car because it's 6 a.m. in New York. But we're gonna go watch some people flip around and do some tricks and things and try not to fall asleep. You garden. So this is a super popular tourist destination in Shanghai. It's like a beautiful garden and you can walk around and see like the koi fish and stuff. We're gonna go in there later, but first, Chris is starving. So we're gonna get some street food. Hopefully we're gonna find some jianbing. He's never had like Chinese breakfast before, so I'm really excited. And um, yeah, this is just like a really popular tourist street. We're gonna go see what we find. Let's go. We're in line to get giant soup dumplings. They're huge, you put a straw in them and you drink the soup. <laughs> jiggle, 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 jiggle. <laughs> straw acquires. <laughs> Whoa! They're like little gelatinous cubes. <laughs> Very salty. That's a dumpling. We had some street food. It all seemed a little touristy, a little like mid. So I think we're gonna just go to a street where there's actually good street food later. And now we're gonna head into the garden. So come with us to you garden. We made it to the ancient you gardens. We're, we're gonna explore and see what we find. It's really pretty and there's lots of like hidden pathways and stuff. So let's go. Ancient moss, ancient stone. My baby. Show the people what time it is. PM. <laughs> Good night. Good <laughs> night. We woke up from the nap. We're going on a river cruise. I'm literally, but it's beautiful. Um, that's the famous Pearl Tower. And this is the iconic view of the Bund in Shanghai. So enjoy some footage of the pretty view. Okay, we finished our river cruise tour of the Bund, which is beautiful. And now we're back at Nanjing East Road because there's a bunch of like hidden marketplaces and street food market. So we're gonna go see what we can get up to. 
get some food, buy some trinkets that we'll throw away in a few months, and uh, yeah, let's go. So I got the giant pile of crabs, because I know that Shanghai is famous for hairy crab. I'm not sure if that's what this is, but they just look too good to walk by, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna try them. They're each like little individual crabs. I think you just eat the whole crab at once. Look at that. Nothing will be as bad as a scorpion in Thailand, so I can do anything after that. Cheers! That's fire. Mm. So crunchy. And the seasoning they put on it, it's like a little spicy, really salty. It's good. And it doesn't taste fishy, but it has that like crab flavor. White Rabbit is a really popular candy. And they have a whole store just with White Rabbit candy. So let's check it out. Woo. Giant White Rabbit. It's very chewy, like a really hard to chew toffee. It's, it's an acquired texture. And it comes in like a million different flavors. You tried them, right? Yeah. We've come to the first of our hidden marketplaces. I'm pretty sure all of these little parts, you like write a wish or a prayer and then you can hang them up. So it's really cool. Let's go. I got squid on a stick. He deep fried it and then grilled it and then put a bunch of seasoning on it. So this is fire. Try it. Cheers. That's so good. Sweet, spicy. It's not too chewy. Perfect texture. 